Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Miles Morales from the video game of the same name. This is the, the new version of Miles Morales to match that Spider-Man with the white detailing on him. Very cool designs in that game. I don't think anybody's ever questioned that. Did this figure live up to it? Gonna tell you right now, it didn't, but there are some good things about it and some bad things, unfortunately. This is part of the Armadillo build a figure wave for those of you who aren't aware, but this is a Gamerverse figure if you didn't see right there. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This guy's got some good stuff, some bad stuff. Let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just shy of 16 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to, let's just say six and a quarter inches. And before we get into the review, let's do a question of the day. Are you or are you not a fan of that Spider-Man suit with the white detailing on it from the Spider-Man video game that this one is like an offshoot of? I would ask you about this suit, but it's basically just the standard Miles Morales suit with some extra detailing in there, so there's not much to ask about. I love the white details in that other suit. Okay, so let's talk about this guy. First thing, we have to talk about the aesthetic. This looks like it's from the Into the Spider-Verse movie, almost, with the little torso, giant long skinny legs, long skinny body, little head. The proportioning is terrible, terrible, terrible on this figure. Even if we look at the reference image on the back of the package, which is a game-type render, you can see he's got like broad shoulders, like he's not super buff or anything, but he's got broad shoulders, some muscles in his legs, a skinny waist, normal sized head. This figure has none of that. It looks really, really rough. For quick comparison, here's the MCU Spider-Man. Yeah, I know he's shorter, but if you just took these types of proportions and put them on this, it'd be perfect. Look at how much higher, relatively speaking, his shoulders are and how much broader his shoulders are than this one. Look at how this guy's hips are in at the waist rather than sticking out with a giant thigh gap. The head's almost the same size, and this guy's significantly taller. This figure, this Miles Morales figure, has horrible proportions. It looks rough. It's very, very, very dumpy looking, and it's super unimpressive because it's an all-new sculpt. It's an all-new sculpt, I said that wrong. Pinless joints, everything's freshly sculpted. It has a really clean paint job. The detail work is really nice in the sculpt work, but then the proportioning is just terrible. I don't know how this kind of thing keeps happening with Hasbro, like they release awesome, awesome figures, like this one, and it's not like because it's MCU, some of the MCU Spider-Man figures had terrible proportions, but they finally got it right. But then they released this, where you could fit a whole other leg in between his legs with the thigh gap being so big, his hips stick out really far from his waist. His chest is just as wide, actually it's narrower than his waist. His shoulders are low and small, like it, everything about this looks bad. I mean, other than the detail work, the proportioning is so bad, I can't recommend this. Right off the bat, I'm not gonna say I recommend it. It's rough. But yeah, the detailing work is super clean. It's so unfortunate that so much effort gets put into, into these figures, but they don't get the proportioning right and it ruins the overall look. Like, none of the details matter if the figure looks goofy in general. But yeah, the texturing, the, the web lines are clean as heck. Maybe this is one of the cleanest figures they've released, but the proportions just kill it, man. Even the head shape isn't like a human head shape. It's very cartoonish and weird looking. I don't get it. What did, what happened? The detail work is so nice. Effort was put into this. Proportions, like that's the first thing you're gonna notice. Yeah, you can pose them away a little bit, but come on. Aesthetic on this guy gets a six out of 10. The details are nice, they're saving it a little bit, but those wide hips and narrow chest and long skinny tubular limbs, he's a noodle person with a tiny head doesn't look good. Accessories on the other hand, they did a pretty good job. We'll start with hands. We have the two whipping hands that come on them in the package. We have two fist hands, two wall crawling hands, and two electric whatever thing hands, which are just gorgeous. Love them. Love all the hands. The details are fantastic, and then the electric hands are awesome. We do get an alternate head, which I can't say is the best likeness. It's super shiny and kind of blah looking, but it is an alternate head, so I'll give them that. That's pretty cool. I'll give the accessories an 8 out of 10. I like the variety, and that's awesome. Only thing we're missing is a web line, and I don't think that's that big of a deal. So, because they're not practical for most people. You can't just like stick it somewhere and hang him. It doesn't work. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Decent accessories. Now, as far as articulation goes, we do have the double ball peg neck, which is awesome. He still looks up just fine. He could even get more range if they did a better job with that ball peg because he can't even look down. They still aren't doing a great job with the ball pegs. They have a giant ball at the top, which is fine. That one can be any size you want. But the ball at the bottom needs to be big also. And maybe it is, but it's so far recessed that you don't get any range out of it. There's so much plastic above the ball. 
can't do it that way. You don't have enough range. So that's a bummer. It's relatively limited for being a double ball peg, but it still is going to give you that nuance that you want in some poses. Gosh, it's hard to swap that one out. All right, but yeah, you get the leaning side to side. You get the leaning and the turn look, which is awesome. Yeah, I still, I'm going to always be for a double ball peg. Even a poorly implemented one is nice. And if it was properly implemented, you could get tons of range out of this. That's the thing is like people always say, you don't get that much range out of a double ball peg compared to the hinge. Because look how high this guy can look up. And this guy's much more limited. Well, that's only because they didn't do a great job with the ball peg. But even then, it's not that much of a difference. So the extra versatility of this joint is definitely superior. All right, for superior, like spider, get it? Okay. Uh, butterfly joint on this guy, get very little going forward. And going back is also extremely limited despite it being cut to crap back here. So terrible butterfly joint, not good. This one, it goes like all the way back, all the way, and all the way forward. This one doesn't go anywhere, basically. It's terrible. This figure is such a disappointment. I was I was looking forward to it. Like a, an older, taller version of Miles is awesome for me. I just don't care about the young kid storylines of the Spider-Man stuff. And that's fine. But the, even the elbow joint, it's like, it's a really ugly joint. They took a note from McFarlane on this one. Why is it so ugly? Why is part of the elbow sculpted onto the suit like that? And then it's just a little flat tab sticking out with the elbow connected to it. What is going on with this figure? It's like a whole different studio made it. That is an ugly ass elbow joint. Goodness gracious. It works, but crap is it ugly. All right, for the thwipping hands, we have the swivel and the hinge. All the hands have the same hinge on them, so that's fine. That'll work. I don't, do the electric hands have a hinge? They do, cool. All right, let's check the torso, let's see. He does lean back, it's poorly implemented. He's got like the pregnancy thing going on. At least it's painted and sculpted, but he's got a chest burster coming out, so that sucks. Leans forward nicely, I'll take that. It's very heavily ratcheted, so be aware of that. Waist twist is fine. Hips, that's how you do it. That's good. That's almost a full-on split. That's nice. I like that. They got the pivot point proper. That is good. They don't go very far forward, though. Goodness, come on, Hasbro. Why Why? Why do you keep doing this to me? They go out to the side all the way. Going forward, nah. No, <laughs> we can't do that. Oh, all right. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knee is fine. That works, no problem. Ankles, you go all the way back. That's good. Everything is so tight on this guy. They go really far forward. That's good. Ankle rocker is really solid, so that's good. This guy's going to get a 6 out of 10 for articulation. The butterfly joint not working, and the elbows being so ugly, the ab crunch being blah, the legs not going all the way forward. It's a Spider-Man figure. If the hips can go out to the side, they should be able to go forward too. Come on. Oh, man. It's so disappointing when you get such a good Spider-Man figure right here, and then you review one that's almost the polar opposite. How, how does that happen from the same company? It's so strange. Okay, final verdict on this figure is it's not worth getting, honestly, unless you're really going to cram him up into a crazy pose that you can't really tell what his body looks like. Then you'll be fine, but even then, you're not going to be able to do it because his ab crunch sucks and his shoulders suck and his hips are only okay in certain directions, so... Yeah, this one's a big dud. It's a disappointment, despite the awesome paintwork and the good sculpt work. The proportions are just terrible and the articulation is not good enough. So I'm going to give it a final verdict of 6 out of 10. It's just not worth having, if you ask me. So, so yeah, definitely bummed out about this, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.